Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys, Dolbs here, and today we're gonna just do a first quick blueprint opening, so you guys can sort of get a demonstration for what it's like, and also, we can get some blueprints. Now, with this whole blueprints update, let me know what your opinions are, because a lot of people, including myself, think the prices are way too high for things like a rare, look at this, a rare decal right here costs 200 credits to build. That's two keys for a rare decal. When on earth would anyone pay that? Like, literally, I have no idea why anyone would pay that. But what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to have a look and we're going to spend some some of our blueprints. I just had a bunch of random crates and they all got converted into these unrevealed blueprints. So we're going to do an unrevealed blueprint opening, revealing them. Now, as you can see, the, the items that I can get, I'm just going to do the impact crates because either way, whether the items in it you like or not, it's fun to see what the odds are, whether it seems like we're less likely to get these good items. And we can also see and uh, admire the prices when we do it. So, I'm going to be opening impact. As you can see, the blueprints show exactly what you get. If it's painted, it will show. Striker right here, striker Santa Fe's. Now, if we preview, you can see the Santa Fe's are looking clean. I already have a pair of these, thank God, because I do not want to spend 14 keys worth to build these. 1,400 credits just to build some regular Santa Fe's. Now, they do look cool, and that was really good that I got an exotic already, but I'm not liking those prices. Also, I really can't wait to see how the trading market... Oh, another striker! What are the odds? I really can't wait to see how the trading community sort of switches the way they, they work with this whole blueprint system. Like, are blueprints going to be really underpriced? Because they actually you actually have to put money into the blueprint itself to get the item to wear. Like, with crates, you'd spend one key to open it, and then if you bought an item, you had it, you owned it, so you spent the full price. Whereas with these blueprints, if I sold a blueprint for, like, for example, this saffron decal... The person who buys it also has to put money into reveal, like, creating it and building it to put on their car. So, I really want to see the difference between the price in the blueprint for an item and the actual item itself. Also, I'm getting a lot of these Cirrus, um, what do you call it, boosts. Ooh, twins are. Now, the only thing I don't like is trade-ups are gone, man. Why, why did they get rid of trade-ups? I don't see the point in getting rid of trade-ups. Like, we should be able to trade up blueprints into... Exotic blueprints and like it'll be so much cooler keeping trade-ups because look how many like Imports I just got imagine being able to trade them up and having the chance to get some exotic items And also one thing I do have to say is I understand that crates had to go like it was all the gambling scenario and stuff uh, There was an error right then trying to open this blueprint. So that's not very good, but what I wanted to say anyway was I understand that crates had to go but as you guys could probably see right now opening blueprints on a video is not as fun as opening crates were back in the day you know it's just not the same thing we don't have the scrolling we don't have the animation it's just revealing a blueprint and also once all these blueprints are gone unfortunately guys i can't do any more of these like you can't trade unrevealed blueprints and you can't i believe i don't i don't believe you can get unrevealed blueprints the only reason i have them is because all my crates from before in the game have been converted. Now, for some reason, there seems to be an error here, and I don't want the video just to end just like that. I want us to get a banger. Oh, I thought that was going to be like a white twins of them. Um, but as you can see, I don't think it's as fun. Now, obviously, I can't just pick at it constantly because it's, it's a move they had to make, but I think they could have definitely done it while keeping a bit more of the fun aspect like like with trade-ups they had to get rid of them with the gambling thing but i don't think it's really that bad like come on they're just trade-ups man but yeah the prices guys we do have to talk about that so let's while we while we try our best to open these next blueprints if the game will let us let's talk about prices because just look at this man 600 credits just to open a blooming painted banner does anyone want to pay six keys worth for a banner on Rocket League. Hell no. Like, the the market is going to not have anything nice to say about this. The whole trading community. I've seen comments. I've seen replies on Twitter. People are pretty angry. But 
to be fair, as a content creator, I'm kind of happy with the change because it's just exciting to make videos and see everyone's reaction when you upload a video showing prices over the roof in the item shop. It is fun to see how people think. I've gotten ready girls so much just then. It's it's definitely no different to crates in that sense. They're definitely still giving me terrible items. Oh, a cobalt boost. When you look at that, imagine having to spend 800 credits just to unlock that bad boy. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep complaining because I'm I don't really like complaining. Like I feel like if it's really broken, they'll do something to fix it. They can't just ignore the entire community like that. They they definitely can't. They've made a big step forward in in the game they've changed a lot of the aspects of the game um so they can't really ignore us now it, they've kind of completely taken our game and shaken it around and thrown us what's left of it but let me know um as well guys what your opinions are on the rocket pass when you see it i'm yet to get a video out with it i'm, I'm also getting bored of seeing this reveal blueprint loading symbol just to get an error but yeah if you actually have a look the rocket pass is not here yet we do have to wait for that but another thing, guys, look at these items. Look at these. I have wheels. I have exotic wheels and stuff. Think about items like this. These, like, titanium white infiniums. I guarantee they cost a fortune to get with the blueprints. But I already have them. So, like, why would I ever unlock them from a blueprint and waste my money on a wheel that was so easy to get before they, they, they messed this all up? Also, I wonder if Octanes and stuff will have their own blueprints. Um, but I, I think the trade-ups for non-crate items are still a thing. It's only crate items that you can't trade up. Oh, exotic wheels. Let's have a look. 1,400 credits to build these. That just blows my mind. That price is out. Just It's just out there. I can't believe they've really stepped that bold. Maybe they don't know the prices. Maybe they don't play the game enough, all these developers. But... I don't know, maybe they're just trying to make some quick money, but I'm definitely not falling for it. I'm not going to spend all my credits or buy credits just to unlock items that we, we can buy on the trading sites for super cheap anyway. Because all the people that had these items before the blueprints came out, we still have them. We can still trade them for the prices they used to be. They, they don't need to go up in price if there were so many already in circulation. But any new items that come out, guys, the past obviously the crate era any new items from new types of blueprints unfortunately their prices are going to be extremely high because you have to put in very many credits just to get them now what i really want to do guys is pull a black market just so i can see how many credits they 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 cost to unlock and use word on the street is that they cost uh 2, credits but i want to see that for myself Another thing, guys, is I can't confirm it right now because I'm, I'm, I'm just here doing a, a blueprint opening. I'm not reporting the news right now. But what I do believe is that the Dragon Lord um, decal can actually come painted now. You know, the Octane uh, Dragon Lord? I believe that can come painted. Now, that is just from what I've seen people say. Whether or not I can take the word for it, I don't know. But I definitely want to see that, that decal painted. Because I'm pretty sure it never used to be painted, right? Unless I've just completely had a brain fart and not known that. Ooh, Black Sirius. Ooh. That's a nice boost. If only I could afford to build it because it's 10 keys. Which is 1,000 credits. But I'm going to speak in terms of keys currently so you guys can understand the fury that people are sort of feeling right now. Because 10 keys for a boost that... If you'd have opened that from a crate, that's one key. I, I don't understand why... What it has to change. I think it should just be a hundred credits for every item, since it's a it's one key for a crate. I, I don't see why that should change. And then the obviously the rarity of the item itself is why it costs a lot on the market. Whereas now it's just going to be the fact that you have to pay so much to unlock it. It's going to cost a lot on the market, and I don't like that. I really don't like that. But I I don't know, guys. Are you bored of these impact series? <gasps> That was a titanium white, um, what do you call it? Banner. Let's go to that titanium white because I want to check, guys. Does it cost more if it's 700 credits? Okay, let's do a quick test. So, burnout, titanium white banner, 700 credits. Now, what's the crimson one? The crimson one is cheaper. So, guys, they have actually made titanium white items cost more. So, titanium white items obviously on the market cost more because... They're, they're a much more universal color. White is. You can use it on a lot more different card designs. So people pay more. 
but why on earth should we have to pay more to unlock the item or build it to use on our car? Like, I don't see why they're, they, that is disgraceful. We can't, like, it's, it's the fact that you have to get lucky to get a really good item, but then you get unlucky because you have to pay so much to darn build it. Ah, well. I mean, <laughs> it's a banner, so who cares, but... I, I just want to see, does that mean white zombies are going to cost like two, 2 million credits? Does anyone know that, guys? Let me know. Let me know. If any of you guys have unboxed or unrevealed white zombies, let me know how much they cost. Because that could be a new meme going around, you know. 1 million credits for a white zomba. Let's see. Let's see if that really does happen, guys. But I'm going to sit here for probably the seventh time waiting for the error symbol. Should we make this our last one so we have 100 impact crates left? And let me know, guys, do you think these videos are exciting at all? Or are blueprint openings just not not as good as what they used to be? Right now, I'm going to open seven ferocity blueprints because why on earth not? I've gotten the same thing. I think I've just gotten the same thing over and over again and again and again. Which one should we open now, guys? Let's go for an accelerator. And one more. Go on. Give us something big. Come on, Rocket League. I can't, I, you can't make me sit through this loading screen for this long just to give me an error sign. I really hope one time it's just going to do this and then at the end it's going to throw me out of black market. And then I'll always praise this loading sign, but come on. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Twelve blueprints remain. Hey, there we go, Jaeger Snakeskin, coolio. And one more. Hey, power shop. Let's see, do this... Yeah, 600. So it looks like they've kind of set a price. But it doesn't seem like it's really consistent. Because, I don't know, have they made their... I, it seems like they've made their own price for every item. And I don't really like the, that they get to choose. I think the, the community should choose how much things cost. Oh my god, guys, we just got black creeper wheels. I just opened this one for the sake of opening it. Vindicator crate. We got ourselves black certified. Yes, give me a screenshot of that, please, Rocket League. Preview. 1,800 credits to unlock. That is 18 keys just to unlock. That's literally the price of these wheels back in the day. Back when, you know, you only had to spend one key to open a crate. Black creeper wheels. We, we actually got them. I'm not going to lie, guys, before I made this video yesterday, actually, I was thinking, you know what? I really want some Black Creeper wheels because I was buying some Vindicator crates for this reason, to unreveal the blueprints, and we only go and get it. We're stopping there. We're ending on a high. And first, we're going to look how much the credits cost because I want to unlock these. Okay. So they're going to make us spend a fortune just to unlock those. I'm going to see how much the blueprint itself goes for in the... Uh, in the trading side of things, and we'll see if we can make some profit, but, I mean, I definitely made profit, like, one Vindicator crate cost me literally a, a hair, so we definitely made profit, but, I don't know, let me know, guys, what you think of Blueprints, this video was kind of a relaxing sort of rant, and just, just a nice talk about Blueprints, and a nice way for you guys to see what's cracking off with these Blueprints, let me know what you think of them, in the future, if we do more unrevealing of blueprints, I'll uh, I'll make it much much more exciting. The the hopefully the idea of things costing a lot will pass over, breeze over, and we can make it a nice exciting thing. Maybe we can do some challenges to open blueprints or something, spice it up because obviously it's not as fun as crates. But I'll see you in the next one, guys. If you made it through all the way to the end, then comment, um, um, comment, unobtainium. Because I'm pretty sure that's what this decal's called. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.